Two kids. Two kids. Two. Two kids. Two kids. Two kids. Two kids. Kid on a couch. Hello and welcome back to Two Kids on a Couch. I am your host, Trapezoid. Let's talk about one of the nominees for Best Original Musical in the 2022-20 season, Paradise Square. Also, I'm gonna fold some laundry. So Paradise Square is one of the musicals, one of five musicals nominated for Best Original Musical this year. Um, it takes place during the Civil War at a bar up in New York City. The, the central location of the show is Paradise Square, a bar run by Nelly. Um, the show talks about, obviously, racial, racial tension, class tension, there's a war going on, that's an issue. Um, it, t it really highlights the marriage of two cultures in a way that was fascinating. There's, a, there's interracial marriage, which is not something that happened in 1863, and it's something that isn't talked about a lot even now. For a show that takes place in the Civil War, um, it felt very relevant. It was a very, it was very Newsies vibe, right? A very, what if Newsies was PG-13 kind of situation. Even like the, the scaffolding set, right? There was like a kind of a Pulitzer character who kind of represented like the toxic, like rich pitting the poor against one another. Um, but yeah, let's talk about what it was nominated for. So Paradise Square was nominated for 10 Tonys this season. Best Book of a Musical, Best Original Score, Best Costume Design, Best Scenic Design, Best Lighting Design, Best Choreography, Best Original Musical, obviously. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get these names right. I promise. They got two nominees for Best Actor, Best Performance by an Actor in a Featured Role in a Musical for A.J. Shively and Sydney Dupont, and then Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role in a Musical for Joaquin Kalukongo, um, who plays Nelly, and she is. Uh, an absolute powerhouse. Let's go through these one by one, shall we? Of all the nominees, I think it is most likely to win choreography. The choreography is absolutely breathtaking, right? They're they're combining traditional Irish step dancing with like traditional African dances. I think the choreography is some of the most inventive on Broadway right now. Great choreography. In terms of best score and best book, I don't think they'll win, mostly because I think, and we'll talk about this later, but Strange Loop is I think poised to sweep most of the best musical Award. I think Paradise Square has a great book and it has a great score. I do think it is not the strength of the show. I think the strength of the show lies in the performances and lies in the choreography. There, there were a lot of authors working on this show between its many different iterations. I think the script has changed hands, the score and the lyrics have all changed hands a lot. And I do think that shows a little bit. Let's talk about actors. Uh, Sydney Dupont plays Owen. Uh, he's nominated for Best Performance by an Actor in a Featured Role in a Musical. Um, he is deaf in one ear, which is insane, because, you know, he's out there singing with the voice of a thousand angels. He's nominated as well as A.J. Shively. A.J. Shively plays Owen. Um, also, voice of a sweet, beautiful baby fawn frolicking through the forest. Both actors do some amazing work. I think that because the book isn't necessarily the strongest one that we've seen. I don't think it's likely that they'll win, but I think it's great that they were both nominated. Joaquina is nominated for Best Performance by an Actress in the Leading Role in the Musical. She plays Nelly, right? So she's like the matriarch, the main like, person in the show. She's gotten a amazing, amazing reviews. The very ensemble forward show, right? I don't think she'll win, but that's okay, because I'm confident she'll be back to Tony's again so soon. In terms of the design awards, uh, costumes, scenic, and lighting, I find it unlikely. I'll say it. They were all great. They all told the story well. But yeah, it was nothing to write home about. Again, the set was very like Newsies ragtime. A lot of scaffolding that moved. A lot of platforms. It, it served the story well, but I wouldn't call it like especially innovative. So I don't think it's gonna like take home, take home the gold. You know what I'm saying? In terms of best musical, I don't think it's gonna win. I think it's relevant, but I don't think it was quite well executed enough to edge out frankly, to edge out Strange Loop. So, to recap, Paradise Square nominated for 10 things. I think it should win Best Choreography, and I think it could win Best Leading Actress. I would love it if A.J. Shively or Simon DuPont won for Best, Le for Best Featured Actor, but I don't have a lot of high hopes. So yeah, so of 10 nominations, I think it should win one. I think hope it will win two, and on a perfect day, it wins four. Paradise Square, kids, tune in next week for 
the show that we're going to talk about next. This is Travis Lord signing.